So does, I'm sure mo many of you are aware of various aspects, we, but we wanted to bring this evening together different vantage points to talk about how it in, indeed is a concerted effort uh, at, on many different fronts. Which means, of course, that we have to begin thinking about defending initially and then fighting back, taking back those common spaces that are our public schools uh, from this offensive uh, that would you know, deprive not only the children, the students, the young people, the youth in them, uh, but destroy the unions. And since public schools have traditionally historically been the linchpins of community, of the commons, destroy, further assault our common space, our common place again, our democratic space. Um, this is not just an evening of talk. The intent here is to get better organized because the forces, of course, at the local, state, and national level are well organized, well oiled, well moneyed, and all we have is our people power, our popular power uh, to be organized in order to stand up and, and, and raise a collective voice Against, against this onslaught. As part of that, I'm going to send around a clipboard to please, you know, just basic information to, if you're interested in getting involved in some fashion, and I hope you will after hearing our, 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 our speakers this evening, uh, to do so. Uh, also on here, there's, a, there's a, co a column on the right that says, study group, question mark. Bill and his brother, uh, this is one of the, st the stimuli for this uh, uh, evening, edited a special summer edition, double edition, of the monthly review, uh, the attack on public schools and basically the fight back. Uh, and we have copies here tonight for those of you who may be interested. But also, <laughs> but also as a follow-up to this, uh, we're going to be launching in, in the next couple of weeks uh, two, si two discussion evenings uh, for people to read the various articles, because there's a broad range of, of, of writers from around the country, around the, the nation, uh, talking about, about the numerous issues, uh, but to have a discussion on that in preparation again for getting ourselves organized for part of this fight back. All right. When I was, some of you may have seen the Facebook notice for this event, and I went on Google Image to find a picture of my, my my comrade here, Bill Ayers. And there's the, the wanted poster badass. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really like the wanted poster. It's <laughs> but, a cliche. It's yeah, cliche. yeah, 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 it's wonderful. I mean, I mean the right uses all the time, so I didn't throw it up there again. But anyway, um, but there's a picture that I hadn't seen in many years. And it's a picture, a photograph, of a young Bill Ayers. Were you, were you 20 at the time? <coughs> yeah, that was yeah, maybe, 46 years ago. Yeah, maybe 20 years old. And what is he doing? He's bent over a table teaching two kids in an education project. And what city was that at the time? It was called Children's Community. OK, Children's Community where? In Ann Arbor, Michigan. Right. He's teaching kids to read. Right. So that commitment to education has very, very deep roots with this man. I mean, now he's a retired uh, professor of uh, education at U, U of I. He has, he's written a number of books. Uh, the most recent one, The Teaching the Taboo, The Courage and Imagination in the Classroom. Our other guests this evening are my two dear friends and comrades, Rebecca Kemble, who, uh, there's no other way to describe her, but a irrepressible, <laughs> irrepressible Let's uh, try. advocate, <laughs> advocate at, at, at a neighborhood, at a grassroots level. You know, she's been going, I mean, she's probably gone, gone to more school board meetings than most of the school board members. <laughs> not, but not more than TJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm sure we'll hear from TJ Mertz as well. Uh, but also, because of her advocacy and her irrepressibility really, and her, and her, her, her articulate capacity.
capacities. She just recently was invited to join the Progressive magazine as a blogger. She just had the, a, a lead article this, in this month's Progressive, uh, but I've known her a long time. Uh, we used to stare at each other coming and going from uh, Union Cab uh, over a period of years, and she, so she's also a major advocate of co-ops. Will Williams, for many of you, doesn't need an introduction, so I won't give any, no. I'll just tell one quick story. Will and I have become, we became quick, fast friends 10 years ago when we first met at the initial mobilizations in opposition to the war in Afghanistan and then later Iraq as, as early members of the Madison uh, Area Peace Coalition. Uh, Will is a uh, member of the Clarence Kalin chapter, local branch of the uh, uh, Vets for Peace, and also has been a, a consistent, shall we say, visitor to school board meetings uh, to speak out uh, initially about the militarization going on in our schools, uh, and, and, and more recently, of course, in regard uh, to the Madison Prep, which we'll be hearing about. So I've already talked too long. Uh, please welcome Bill Ayers. Thank you.